Whether you're the president of a rich country or a wealthy oil baron in the Middle East, it's important to ride in style. And these people have spent millions of dollars to build and customize their dream vehicles. From flying palaces to huge yachts, let's begin today's video featuring the top 15 most luxurious personal vehicles. Number 15. Brunei's Flying Palace Brunei is easily one of the world's least recognizable wealthy countries. After all, while the Southeast Asian country has massive oil reserves, it rarely makes headlines. Yet this lack of publicity doesn't prevent the Sultan from making money hand over fist. It's because of this that he possesses some of the greatest luxuries on the planet. Although one of his most notable is his retooled Boeing 747-430. Better known as the Flying Palace, the plane cost about $100 million to purchase and $120 million to renovate to his standards, and the end result is absolutely incredible. That's because not only is it filled with rooms such as master bedrooms and lounges, but it's also got some obscenely luxurious features, with these including, of all things, wash basins made out of solid gold. So, the Sultan of Brunei is certainly not someone who likes to hide his wealth. Number 14. The Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner Mexico It's easily one of Central America's most important countries, so it comes as little surprise when, in 2014, the then-president Enrique Peña Nieto splashed some serious cash by buying the world's most expensive plane. It's able to fit up to 250 passengers and fly for over 16,000 kilometers straight non-stop. Its many features include a luxurious lounge, fake fireplaces, a master bedroom with a soft king-size bed, and several fully equipped bathrooms. Yet because this plane was rumored to cost anywhere between 215 and 600 million bucks, this purchase didn't exactly sit well with Mexican voters. And so when current Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador rose to power in 2018, he vowed not to use the aircraft and instead sell it and donate the proceeds to the Mexican people. However, while the Mexican President was in talks with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and with the private company Isatec, no suitable buyer was ever found. As a result, the Mexican government continues to pay maintenance and leasing costs on the plane, despite the fact that it's just sitting in storage. Mexico. Number 13. The Rolls-Royce 103 EX Rolls-Royce is easily one of the best luxury brands out there, and while the 103 EX is a car that's only been built in prototype form, I think that it kind of still deserves a spot on this list. First debuted in 2016, what makes this car stand apart to most others is its incredible design. Its exterior turns heads due to its interesting stylistic choices, as while the body is sleek and colored in a funky black and turquoise, the wheel beds are big and boxy, making the car look like it's hovering in the air. While this is already crazy enough, it's the interior that's most shocking. Featuring no steering wheel and what is essentially a massive lounge area, the hope is that the car will drive completely autonomously and allow its owner to rest and relax inside a cozy environment. In order to achieve this with style, the 103 EX has wood paneling, ivory wool carpets, a massive OLED screen, a skylight, and an actual sofa, all of which create a luxurious yet comfortable feel. The model also makes sure not to miss out on trademark details such as the analog clock and umbrella, and in order to suit your tastes, most features on the car are fully customizable so that the car can look exactly how you envision it. If that wasn't enough, the 103 EX also comes with an AI companion named Eleanor that puts Siri and Alexa to shame. Because Eleanor will adapt to your personality in order to become the ultimate personalized companion and entertainment system as you whiz down the roads. So, if you manage to become a multi-millionaire at some point, this ultra-customizable car might just be available for purchase. Number 12. Air Force One the President of the United States needs to fly in security and style in order to meet with foreign leaders and important dignitaries, so it makes sense that they receive full-service transportation from Air Force One. While technically referring to any plane that the President flies in, the title of Air Force One, the call sign, is most often designated to one or two of the very highly customized Boeing 747-200B series aircraft. Now, these aircraft are perhaps best known for having virtually an unlimited range, as they can be refueled mid-air in order to make it practically to any country on the planet in just one flight. 
the two planes are also extremely secure, as they have onboard electronics that protect against electromagnetic pulses and coded communications equipment, allowing the aircraft to function as a mobile command center in the event of an attack on the United States. Yet besides the intense security, the plane is also extremely luxurious. That's because the inside of each is composed of about 370 square meters of floor space, spread across three decks, with this including an extensive suite for the president that features a large office, bathroom, and a conference room. Air Force One also includes a medical suite that can function as an operating room, and a doctor is permanently on board in order to serve the needs of any and all passengers. If the travelers get hungry, they can rely on Air Force One's two food preparation galleys, which have the capacity to feed a hundred people at any given time, and are able to whip up some pretty incredible meals. Best of all, when you consider that the plane has separate quarters for the President's advisors and a detachment of cargo planes to provide the President with everything he could ever need, it becomes clear that this plane is as luxurious as it gets. Number 11. The Swept Tail Rolls-Royce is known to make custom cars for their high-end clients, and the Swept Tail is perhaps one of the most famous examples of this service in action. Built at the request of an anonymous billionaire, it was modeled after the luxury yachts of the 1920s and 30s, with this being best personified by the swept tail at the back of the car. More specifically, this back end is akin to a yacht-like glass house. It's a swooping roof line and tail section that closely resembles the back of a boat. Those who get to occupy the two seats inside the swept tail can enjoy an interior filled with ebony and pulled out wood, and leather trim finished in moccasin and dark spice, while its 6.7 liter V12 engine makes it quite speedy too. So, while the swept tail's price tag of $13 million makes it far from affordable, I'm sure that the lucky owner of this incredible car gets a fair amount of use out of it. Number 10. The Boat Tail while the swept tail is certainly an incredible car, the boat tail one-ups it in terms of price and style. Coming in at a whopping $28 million, it's the most expensive new car in the world, and it's not hard to see why. Like the swept tail, it takes inspiration from early 20th century racing yachts, with this one in particular being specially commissioned by a businessman whose family's fortune is rooted in the pearling industry. The car takes inspiration from this pearling background, with this being most obvious in its color, which has a foundation of oyster and soft rose embellished with large white and bronze mica flakes to give it a pearl-like appearance that changes subtly in different light conditions. The darker hood and rear deck both contrast against this base paint, while the car's winged rear deck lids are crafted from royal walnut wood veneers with inlaid rose gold pinstripes that create a look similar to that of a yacht deck. Beyond the color, the design of the boat tail is also notable, as the back of it, like the swept tail, is reminiscent of the design of a yacht. While its interior features gold accents and a dashboard and timepieces that make extensive use of pearls from the owner's collection. To top this off, the car's trunk is split into two compartments that house components of an integrated picnic in the park setup, with these including flatware colored to match the car and dishes with matching accents and an umbrella to provide shade. So, I think you'd agree, the boat tail truly is a work of art, and a tiny bit excessive. Number 9. Azam When it comes to luxury boats, few are quite as nice as the Azam. Built by German shipyard Lursen Yachts and commissioned by United Arab Emirates President Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan for a price of 605 million bucks, it's far from cheap, and this can be seen through both its performance and aesthetics. At 180 meters in length, it's the world's longest yacht, and despite this, it can reach speeds of up to 32 knots, which far outpaces that of most ships of a similar size, and is far more similar to the speed of a navy boat than to that of a yacht. This speed was reflected in the sleek lines of its exterior, although Azam's true wow factor comes from the interior. Designed by French designer Christophe Leone, the ship is full of wood furniture intricately veneered with mother-of-pearl marquetry and chandeliers that don't rattle or shake when the ship is in motion. It's also got a lot of awesome features, with these including a huge open-plan main saloon, a gym, a pool, and a special golf training room, all of which can be enjoyed by as many as 36 guests while the ship is being manned by between 70 to 80 crew members. So yeah, the Azam, it's truly an incredible luxury vehicle. Number 8. Eclipse 
At one point in time, Roman Abramovich was the owner of Chelsea FC, and given that this is one of England's most famous soccer clubs, it made sense that both this and many of his other business assets afforded him the $500 million or so necessary to build and design the Eclipse. Coming in at a length of about 162 meters, the ship is massive, yet despite the size can still travel at a respectable maximum speed of 25 knots, while being able to travel for more than 11,000 kilometers without stopping. However, it's the Eclipse's interior features that truly make it a luxury vehicle, as it features two helicopter pads, 24 guest cabins, two swimming pools, several hot tubs, a disco hall, and three launch boats, and a mini submarine that can be used to explore the surrounding area. To top all this off, it even has a built-in missile defense system, bulletproof windows, and so-called anti-paparazzi tech. Yet this hasn't stopped the Eclipse from getting some serious media attention. That's because after the Russian war against Ukraine began, the media started to heavily monitor the billionaire's yacht, and to date, the last we know of it is that it was docked in Turkey and appears to have not left as of yet. While it still seems like Abramovich still owns the yacht for the time being, only time will tell whether or not he'll be able to keep it. Number 7. Serene When it comes to yachts that are chock full of fun amenities, no ship is quite like the Serene. Built by Italian shipyard Fincantieri, it comes in at an impressive length of 133 meters and was delivered back in 2011 to Russian vodka tycoon Yuri Scheffler for $330 million. It's designed to comfortably accommodate up to 24 guests in 12 suites. During their stay, these guests can enjoy a sun deck with a wet bar, a pizza oven, and a teppanyaki grill, an indoor climbing wall, two helicopter pads, a fully equipped health spa, and a beach club, multiple swimming pools, and an underwater viewing room. Beyond all those amenities, there's also a fair chance that you can view some of the top-of-the-line artwork while on board. While not confirmed, there's a widespread belief that the famous Salvador Mundi painting is on board. This is because the Serene's current owner, who was a certain Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia, was known to have bought the Salvador Mundi at auction for about $450 million back in 2017. And while some claim that it's in storage in Switzerland, others claim that it's on board. However, no matter what the truth of the matter is, I think you'd agree that the Serene is an incredible ship. Number 6. Ferrari P4-5 while the Ferrari 250 GTO is easily one of the most famous Ferrari cars out there, the Ferrari P4-5 is actually far more rare. That's because while 36 GTOs were made, just one P4-5 ever made it into production. Designed for film director James Glickenhaus, who was the son of stock exchange magnate Seth Glickenhaus, it was influenced by the styling of Ferrari's 1960s P-series race cars and was made in both a cooperative agreement by both Ferrari and Italian car manufacturer Pininfarina. Blending both the old with the modern, it combines classic Ferrari design features with futuristic curved lines, with the driver sitting in what's more akin to a see-through pod than to a regular cabin. Beyond its cool design, it's powered by a top-of-the-line 6-liter Tipo F140B V12 engine and uses a 6-speed F1 automated manual transmission, allowing it to perform exceptionally well on the road. However, this all came at a price, as when all was said and done, this incredible car came in at $4 million. Yet given that it's a unique one-off car, I'd say the price tag was relatively low. Number 5. Motor Yacht A when it comes to blending both style and performance, few vehicles do quite as well as the Motor Yacht A. Designed by French designer Philippe Stark and engineered by naval architect Martin Francis, the ship truly is in a class of its own. Coming in at a price tag of about $300 million, the boat is nothing short of impressive, as its length of 119 meters puts it among the world's largest yachts. While its sleek, linear design makes the ship look more like a high-tech navy boat than a comfortable yacht, Yet, a comfortable yacht is exactly what it is, as its 24,000 square feet of space is filled with Baccarat crystal jewelry, has a helicopter landing pad, features three pools, a below-deck disco, while security features such as its 44mm thick bomb-proof glass in the windows and over 40 CCTV cameras, motion sensors, biometric fingerprint secured entry areas, and rumored escape pods keep owner Andrei Melenchenko and his guests secure, no matter what's going on outside. So, a few ships are quite as safe and luxurious as the Motor Yacht A. Number 4. Dilbar 
While most of the vehicles on this list were made to be as beautiful and high-performing as possible, the Dilbar may soon be one of the only entries that was made with some semblance of eco-friendliness in mind. Coming in at a length of 156 meters and costing a whopping $800 million, this ship is a prized possession of Russian billionaire and oligarch Alisher Yuzmanov. In terms of features, the ship is truly top of the line, as it contains a 180 cubic meter pool that's the largest ever installed on a super yacht. Its large amount of space also allows for up to 24 guests and about 100 crew members to enjoy it at once, while an expansive garden on board and two helipads bring this vessel to the next level. Beyond its features, it also stands apart due to the fact that it's powered by an electric diesel hybrid powered engine that's far more efficient than the engines of most super yachts while its speed of 22.5 knots makes it quite fast given its large size. However, despite this attractiveness, it seems that its owner did not have the foresight to remove it from German territory once the Russian war against Ukraine began. This is because while it was dry docked in Hamburg, it was seized by German authorities who, in all likelihood, may sell it should hostilities not cool down between Germany and Russia. So while the Dilbar is quite beautiful, it likely will not be in Russian hands for the foreseeable future. Number 3. Mercedes Maybach Accelero If you want a sleek and elegant car that makes you look like a silver screen villain, then the Maybach Accelero is the vehicle you want. Owned by the company Mechatronic, it's the only vehicle of its kind in the entire world and by all accounts is nothing short of incredible. First unveiled in Berlin in 2005, the Accelero was made in partnership between Mercedes and concept car creator Stola and ultimately designed by four incredibly talented university students. In terms of its looks, it immediately stands apart due to its incredible exterior, as it has a black swept design that makes the car look incredibly sleek. Its interior is just as impressive, as it features a 690 horsepower 5.9 liter twin turbo V12 engine. And it's thanks to this incredible engine that the Maybach can reach speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour, while also having the ability to accelerate from 0 to 100 in just 4.4 seconds. However, at a price tag of about 10 million bucks, it certainly wasn't cheap, and while its owners have leased the car out at various points in time, I highly doubt that it will be sold anytime soon. Number 2. The Bugatti La Voiture Noir while technically a 9-off rather than a 1-off, I'd say that this vehicle's style and stats earn it a spot on this list. Coming in at a whopping $18.6 million, a maximum of two copies of this car are built every single year, and by all accounts, it's absolutely stunning. First unveiled at the Geneva International Motor Show in 2018, its design pays homage to the Art Deco design of the Type 57 SC Atlantic, which is one of the most coveted classic cars in the world. In fact, the company is so proud of the design that Bugatti's design director, Achim Anscheid, attested that, quote, We produced a true one-off, a single-unit car that we can call automotive haute couture. It's not just a car anymore, it's really more like a piece of art in line with highly exclusive fashion and luxury brands in France, end quote. Okay, aesthetics aside, the car's luxurious design is perhaps only bested by its impressive inner workings. This includes a powerful 1500 horsepower quad turbo W16 8 liter engine, which allows the car to reach speeds of up to 420 kilometers an hour and accelerate from 0 to 100 in just 2.4 seconds, and its 7 speed dual clutch transmission, which is the top of its class. As a result, Bugatti spokesperson Tim Bravo has made the claim that, quote, As ridiculous as it may sound to a normal person like you and me, La Voiture Noir is a very reasonably priced car, end quote. Yeah, not so much. And when you consider that the average Bugatti owner has, as per Bugatti's statistics, 42 vehicles, 5 homes, 3 private jets, 3 helicopters, and a yacht, it's not hard to see why the ultra-rich may consider La Voiture Noir to indeed be a bargain. Number 1. 1954 Oldsmobile F88 Alright, at first glance, the 1954 Oldsmobile F88 is pretty underwhelming. After all, while it's certainly not an ugly car, it doesn't look ultra-luxurious, and for all intents and purposes, it doesn't look that different from many other 50s-era cars. However, for car aficionados, this Oldsmobile is an absolute mecca of the 1950s car world. 
Considered at the time to be a futuristic two-seater concept car, it was part of a concept project that began in the early 1950s. And while four cars came out of those efforts, only one single example has survived to this day. It was envisioned as a luxury convertible with bodywork made out of fiberglass. Many of its features were outstanding for its era, with these including a 5.4-liter V8 engine, a spare tire behind the rear bumper, and a radio between the driver and passenger seats. How novel! However, the car was never turned into a mass-market model, despite its relative luxury, and so was enjoyed by its one owner until, in 2005, it was auctioned off for an astounding $3.3 million. It now sits on display at the Gateway Colorado Automobile Museum, where it stands as a true testament to how far cars have come. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best vehicle videos.